Wh oh! Oh, hello. I know, right? Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? I've been shaking, I've been bending backwards till I'm broke. Watching all these dreams go up in smoke. Let beauty come out of ash. The question of whether or not to actually recommend Deadpool 2 is a lot more difficult than you would think. The original was a fantastic movie. It took the whole superhero genre and parodied it while also following it. And in many ways, this film does the exact same thing. The jokes are still there and just as funny as they are in the first one. However, the story is far more bizarre with logical story points replaced with pointless characters and elements that exist simply for a joke rather than any development. The story begins with Deadpool's suicide. Then we go back to six weeks earlier to see the events that made him choose that action. We see Cable, a man from the future. Deadpool sees a news story where a young mutant named Firefist is apparently going mad. In an attempt to calm the young mutant down, Deadpool, Colossus, and Negasonic Teenage Warhead go to the location. The situation ends with Firefist and Deadpool having mutant power restraining necklaces put on while both of them are placed in a prison for mutants. There, Cable attacks with a clear aim to kill Firefist. You see the clunky story of this movie, right? The first movie was a fairly simple revenge flick. It's not like it's a great story, but it was streamlined and told in a very entertaining way. This story is again not great, but isn't streamlined at all. It's all over the map. There is an overarching theme about the value of life. However, with a character like Deadpool who literally kills everyone he thinks is a bad guy without a second thought, the theme comes off rather thin. Avengers Infinity War shows a similar theme much better. Sadly, another reason this movie suffers when compared to the first is because the first movie was something so different and in many ways the sequel feels much like the same again. But I am also left to wonder what this movie would have ended up like if director Tim Miller had stayed on. The rumor was he wanted to take the franchise in a different direction, which is honestly something Deadpool 2 could have used. Deadpool 2 isn't a terrible movie or even a bad movie. There's a lot of laughs here. The story does drag and meander, however. Further, the mystique of a character like Deadpool feels a bit more stale than before. If you feel like the first movie wasn't enough Deadpool, this film is perfect for you. If you don't feel like you need any more Deadpool in your life, then you're safe skipping this. Given the movie star rating, you can guess where I'm at on that spectrum. Well, it's too good. Yeah, this is, this is Deadpool 2, not Titanic. All right, you're at like an 11. We need to get you down to a five, five and a half tops. Just phone it in. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page.